welcome back guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to create a steam account you can create one for absolutely free we'll also be showing you how to buy and download a steam game now you must be wondering why i'm showing such a simple thing almost everyone knows about it but the thing is this is not true only limited to developed countries i am from india and most of the people don't buy games here a lot of people often ask me about steam how to purchase games how to download the games so this is exactly what i'm going to show just open this website i'll give its link in the description of this video then click on install steam from here just click on install steam this is the windows version just launch the exe file select your language next next specify the directory run steam checked click on finish steam should start up steam is a digital store from where we can purchase games all of our purchased steam games will be directly accessible on our steam deck okay so here you need to enter your account's credentials if you don't have a steam account just click on create a free account here you need to mention your email address confirm your email address country of residence just click this i'm not a bot just click this option as well i'm 13 years of age or older i have already created my account so i'll just enter my credentials you can also install the steam application on your mobile phone and then scan this qr code in order to gain access to your account entirely up to you all right we are in just click on library here this is your steam library all of the games that you own will be shown here if you have created this account for the first time your library is going to be completely empty so i'll just go to store immediately you can see some games are on sale now guys i have already shown you how to track the sales how to know that the current sale price of a game is the lowest possible price you can get to know about all of this information via gg.deals website I'll give the video link in the description of this video. So in this video, I'll be purchasing Resident Evil 4 Remake. Just click on search tab here. Type in the game's name. It already showed up. Demo is available. Now in order to purchase, I just need to click on add to cart here. So guys, here's the thing. This game's price in India is around Rs. 3600. Capcom has not employed regional pricing here. Some publishers do follow regional pricing. For example, Elden Ring in India sells for around Rs. 2500. In USA, its price is around 60 US dollars. Valve also has recommended regional prices for different countries. In India, 60 US dollar game should be selling for around rupees 2600, but not many publishers follow this. So I'll be buying this game using my Access Bank debit card. We'll also be using my Steam wallet money. You can redeem Steam gift cards in order to add money to Steam wallet. You can also sell some Steam related items on Steam store. For example, game trading cards. You can obtain these cards by just playing the game. So let me just click on add to cart. You can access your cart from here. Here I have these two options purchase for myself purchase as a gift. If you want to gift the game to your friend just click on purchase as a gift. But I am purchasing it for myself. Game will be releasing on 24th March 2023 not available yet. Here you need to specify the payment mode. My debit card information is already saved so it's showing here. These are the different options available if you want to use Paytm just select prepaid wallet domestic net banking debit card credit card cash on delivery is also available in India I haven't tried it before I think they will just deliver us the steam code not any disk or physical copy of the game Skrill, Mastercard, Visa and this is my own debit card There you go, purchase complete. Now the game will be available in your Steam library. Purchase receipt will be sent to your email ID. If the game is already available, you can just download it and start playing. Just open my email ID. This is the purchase receipt. So I paid around Rs. 3600. This amount includes GST 18%. 
roughly rupees 550 back to the steam store when i open the steam page of resident evil 4 remake this message is shown now resident evil 4 is already in my steam library can't download it now it will unlock in approximately seven days so i'll just download any other game just click on library from here you can search for any game by name so for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be downloading hollow knight there's the game select it click on install from here you need to specify the directory where you want to install the game i'll just install it in another directory install under e drive steam library you can check the downloading progress by clicking here you can see the speeds download complete so go back to library search for the game it should show up here as well select it now if you click on play the game will start it's just that simple if you want to open the root directory of the game where it has been installed just right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files this is the directory if you want to uninstall the game just right click on it manage uninstall you can also hide the game from here entirely up to you now guys when using steam make sure cloud saves option is enabled this way our save progress will be synced with the steam account steam provides cloud storage for the purpose of storing save files even when you switch to a different pc when you log into your steam account download a game play it you will be able to resume it from the same point where you left on your previous pc so just click on steam here then click on settings click on cloud make sure the setting is checked enable steam cloud synchronization for applications which support it not every game supports it cloud save support is shown on a game storefront for example for hollow knight just click on store page here scroll down you can see steam cloud supported full controller support game also supports trading cards you will be gaining them by just playing the game you can sell them on the steam store to gain some steam wallet money i'll end the video here guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day